How you doing? My name is Mark from the Dunright Ranch here in Michigan. We're out here on Saturday. Uh, today's actually Christmas Eve. Um, but you know us guys, we got our priorities. Um, out here shining on the Harley a little bit. Uh, this is the one that I've been uh, trying to get around. I had a little accident with it when I moved in here and some things fell on it and did some damage to the parts. So I bought some new stuff and had it painted. Um, wanted to put a little header on the video coming up. Uh, basically it's where I went to pick up this fender, um, which he did the rest of my stuff, but this particular trip was just for the fender. And uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up. Um, it was the very first attempt I ever made at uh, putting a video, and of course I don't have that many under my belt yet, but uh, this was the first attempt that I, I did at a video. Um, had some problems with the camera, made a few mistakes, I lost some footage. So I didn't think I had much of a, a video to do and I kind of just put it on the back burner and um, I filmed this around the first week or so I think of November, maybe the 10th or the 12th, something like that. So uh, the other night I was just kind of looking at the footage and I thought, you know, gosh, it's not as nice as I wanted it, but, but there's a pretty good little amount of footage there. and. And the cars are cool as hell. So um, anyway, I went up to see John to pick up the Spender on the back of the bike here. Um, and uh, he gave me a little tour of the place. Um, honestly, I knew almost nothing about Duesenbergs when I went there. Not that I'm an expert now, but I, I certainly know more than I did. Uh, you know, I've always been kind of from the muscle car era, you know, the 60s and 70s cars. So. Um, the older ones I'm not quite as familiar with, um, so it was a big learning uh, thing for me too, but it was also really cool. Now the one thing I do vow is to give you a better one later. I've got a few more things that John's got to paint for me and um, I'll get a little more detail into the cars, uh, get a microphone on John for one. Um, he kept getting kind of far away from me and I... I didn't realize it, but you know, it wasn't picking him up very well, so that's why I did the subtitles. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. It's a new channel I'm starting. Um, it's called Over the Road with the Dunright Ranch, or OTR, Dunright Ranch. Um, so I hope that you enjoy it. I plan to do uh, some more videos on different things that I go, and they won't all necessarily be car or bike oriented. They could be anything. Um, but in March, we are going to Daytona Bike Week for about 10 days, so we should be able to get some great footage from there. Um, but this is just a channel to, uh, like I said, show you some of the things that, that we're doing out there and uh, some of the places we go. But more importantly, uh, some of the cooler places that we go. So anyway, uh, without any further ado here, let's get to the video. Well, we're getting ready to go on the road for our first trip here on Over the Road with the Dunright Ranch. Uh, we're heading up to pick up a uh, fender that I had bought for my Harley Davidson that I'm redoing. And it was the wrong fender, which I didn't know. Had it painted, had it customized. Uh, so I ended up having to take my original fender up there and uh, get it repainted to match and get the murals put back on it. Um, I'd had an accident with the bike when I moved into this house, uh, not while riding it, but it was in my garage and a hoist post tipped over on it. Uh, it was bumped by a tractor and I mean a hoist for a car, so it's a pretty big post. Uh, and it did some damage to the bike. So I bought some new panels, I've had them painted, and this has been over the process of years because I also during this time had to have a hip replacement and for years before that the pain was so bad I couldn't ride. So this summer was the first summer that I rode in like seven years. So I'm a little excited to go pick this fender up today and uh, this weekend uh, work on the bike and then uh, hopefully start getting it back together. In uh, March we're going to Daytona to bike week and we're going to definitely give you some footage from there that should be a pretty exciting week so anyway we're going to hit the road we're headed up hopefully uh when we get up there john will let us do a little video tour here of the place because it is one unique place where this guy works and he is just a fantastic painter 
Um, and I don't mean the uh, base color, but it's pinstripes, murals, graphics, things like that. This guy is just crazy out of control good. So anyway, we're getting ready to head up there. Um, when we get there, hopefully we can talk to John and get a tour of the place. So anyway, we're on our way. Okay, we're pretty close here on the street that uh, the shop is on. Just up here on the right. Diesel came with me. He's checking out the scenery. How you doing, Diesel? Hi, yeah, buddy. All right. He always goes with me. Yeah, we're pretty darn close here. Two thousand and thirty-two. There's two thousand. Here's two thirty-two. Right here. All right, we're pulling in. You just a minute. Let's see if we can't get a tour of this place. There's the. Okay, I've arrived here. This is John. How you doing, John? I'm good. Mark, good to see you. <laughs> He's my painter extraordinaire. Oh yeah, here's uh, some artwork that he's done. Let me try to get this where the light's not shining on it. Is that a jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Here's his dusty bike. Yeah, I got some parts on the on order. Needs to, to clean it a little bit, but you can see a little detail here that that took a couple minutes to paint. Minutes. Oh, there's my old fender right there, down there, the yellow fender that does not fit my bike. Right. <laughs> what are you painting there? I'm not sure what those are, parts for some Duesenberg or something. I'd imagine that for that Duesenberg right over there. For that one? Yeah, my job. This place is pretty amazing, the things that they do here. Here's my new fender. A little bit of graphics here on the back. This is the back fender. So you see more of it now than you ever will. Once it's on, pretty cool. Let's take a quick peek at this thing here. This is obviously in the middle of restoration. This is a Duesenberg. It's hard to tell when they're all apart. Gigantic car, just huge. Pretty long. Yeah, look at this header pipe. This is the one that's custom made, right? Yeah, I think that's like a $10,000 pipe. $10,000 pipe. Of course, it only Super fits these. <laughs> Supercharger on it. Supercharger. Well, John, can you, you got time to give me a quick tour? Yeah, All right. It's pretty empty in here paint, today. Paint room. Oh, it's Friday. That's the goal for my Friday. Oh, look at this, right out of the gate. Cadillac. What year is this, do you know? I don't know, 20s, 29, something in there. It's not a, a 2006. <laughs> really, really nice. Now, have you guys restored this, or? Uh, I don't know if it's in for some service or if you've done some repair on it. I'm not exactly sure. Very, very, very nice. Very nice car. Super clean. Cadillac. When they used to put chrome on cars. Well, that's a lot of that's uh, aluminum. Some of those big pieces of Polished aluminum. There's some more here. Okay, here's the Packard. Yeah, it's it's progressed a little bit since we were here before. Now, is this the interiors upholstery shop where they make all the upholstery that they need to? There's a guy over here actually doing it right now. You see him over here working. Wow, these cars are just so impressive. Oh yeah, look at that. 
This is all made out of wood here. This roof. What the heck of a carpenter that made this thing. This car is in what looks to be the middle of restoration. Super cool motor. Big. <laughs> straight eight, right? Yep, straight eight. Does not quite have the $10,000 pipe, but I wouldn't throw that away either. Here's another Duesenberg. Now these are million dollar plus cars. Yeah, typically, yeah. It so I six, think 600 I'm... 600 and some of them made ever. 650 something ever. It, yeah, uh, ever. Total, ever? ever? And we're looking at a couple of them right here. Yeah. Now what is this over here? Um, it's probably another Duesenberg. Let's take a look and see. Oh, she's a doozy, yeah. yeah. This one's in the middle of restoration too. Yep, yeah, they've got the... Everything covered up. Looks like it's. Is that? I don't think that's the primer. end color. That's no, primer. No, that's primer. That's a surface yeah. primer. So that's yeah. how it gets sanded smooth. And we've got to see the primer in that color. Clear coat and sanded and polished and worked all the way to glass. So just uh, six or hundred and some or so made, and there's three of them right here, in the middle of restoration. And one out back. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure they're loading up for me as a prize for showing up yeah, today. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> more next door too, probably. Can you click on through? Oh, and then we've got the building.